I'm going to show you how to smoke a couple pork tenderloins on the new Ninja Wood Fire Grill coming up. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. So glad you're here. Welcome to my backyard. Guys, we have another good one for you today. We're going to do a couple pork tenderloins. We're going to smoke them about 250 with a nice pellet blend in the wood fire grill. All right. Who's excited? Who's coming with me? You're so excited. You're going to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, all that good stuff. All right. So real easy simple cook for you today. We have two pork tenderloins that uh, came from Smithfield. We had them inside. It took them out of the package, uh, dried them off, right? Cleaned up any silver skin on there. Now there's some fat on that tenderloin, which is fine, but if there's any silver skin, you wanna get rid of that. And then the, the ends of each tenderloin are really thin, so I went ahead and sliced those off too. So we have a fairly even sized tenderloin all the way through, okay? Now, uh, the next thing I did, sprayed it down with a little duck fat. Now this stuff is a great binder and it adds a bit of flavor to it. So we added that duck fat on there. And then we're just gonna use a simple barbecue rub. We're using uh, Suckle Busters Hog Waller, all right? I won it in some kind of a giveaway or whatever a while back. So I pulled it out the drawer. We're gonna give it a try on these. But you can use any barbecue rub that you guys have around the house, okay? So nothing left to do but get to it. The pellets we're gonna use are just uh, a comp blend that comes from, well, a pellet company. I found that you know I'm not using Ninja pellets uh, that you know that you, they say you have to buy. If you go into the owner's manual of the wood fire grill, it says any wood safe pellets. So that's what I'm using. I ran out of Ninja pellets a long time ago. <laughs> so other than that, that's that's kind of where we're at. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's get to this uh, wood fire grill. Get it fired up. Get the smoke rolling, and then we'll go ahead and get those pork tenderloins on. All right. Oh, uh, the other thing is, is we're using my uh, Temp Spike wireless thermometer by ThermoPro. I'll put a link down below. I am affiliated with uh, ThermoPro, so uh, you know, I get a little kickback if you use the link, but it doesn't cost you anything more. I suggest you use some kind of temperature uh, reading on this. I'm going to cook these to about 140 internal, pull them out, let them rest to about 145, and they'll be perfectly juicy and uh, you know just lovely, okay? So make sure you're checking new internal temps. Okay, I'm not gonna give you a time. Uh, I, I don't know. We're gonna see how long it takes by using the internal temperatures on there, all right? So let's get this thing fired up, get the smoke rolling. All right, come on back. All right, let's get those pellets in. Just got a scoop full. Okay, inevitably something's gonna drop on the table, just the way it goes. All right, let's get our tenderloins on. They've already been sweating a little bit. The barbecue rubs kind of penetrated. Let's shut this down. We're gonna turn it to the smoker setting. We're gonna use 250, timing doesn't matter. I almost forgot before we get this thing fired up, let's get our uh, temp spike in there. We'll go into the thickest point in this tenderloin. Okay, this one's the thicker of the two, so we'll go with that. All right, we'll shut it down. Let's go ahead and hit start. All right, and it's gonna ignite the pellets and we'll start seeing some smoke soon. All right, we're about 10 minutes in, looking good. We're gonna give these another little spray of that pork fat because fat is flavor. We want these glistening. Those are some good looking pork tenderloins. We're tipping over a little over 100 right now. Got a couple more minutes to go, and we'll be ready to roll. Uh, pork tenderloins are looking good. That barbecue rub on there really made it stand out, really nice color. It could be full of flavor on there. We are going to uh, take these off in a couple minutes. We're about 130. Like I said, we're gonna take it to 140 and let it rest, come up to 145 or so, okay? Now, you're gonna wanna pull these off the grill. You're gonna wanna cut into them right away, but don't, all right? Don't cut into them. Let them rest for about 10, 15 minutes. Let those juices kind of redistribute out through that pork tenderloin. The last thing you want to do is cut into it straight away off the grill here and just have all the juices just flood out, okay? We want to let that meat calm down a little bit and then we'll slice into it. Got some rice. We uh, already got cooked up. We'll put it on a plate. A couple medallions of that pork tenderloin. It's going to be money in the bank, all right? All right, well, we just got a couple more minutes and we'll pull these bad boys off. These are temping out at 140. I'm going to pull them off and let them rest. Guys, we brought it indoors. A little too hot outside. I think there's a gardener going off too. You know what? Let's come indoors like Mother Nature intended with the air conditioning. 
All right. All right, let's go ahead and get these uh, pork tenderloins sliced up, get them plated up, and then we'll, you know, you know, eat it up. You know what I'm saying? All right, come on back. Let's get these bad boys sliced up. Got that beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and just get a slice right in the middle right here. Just take a look. See how we're looking on the inside. Oh, you can tell how juicy that is. <laughs> it's kind of blinding out on the camera, but juice is loose. All right, guys. Got a little bit of pink in there, and that's okay. All right. So we're just going to take a couple slices. We let this rest for about 10 minutes. These are looking lovely, smelling lovely. All right. Got enough to try. So I'm going to take this little nugget right here, a couple little bites out of it, and we'll give it a try. Pork tenderloin sliced up, looking luscious, lovely. Other uh, words to describe. Guys, it's chopped up. We plated it up. Looks good. We took the pictures, all that stuff for the gram, of course. But time to try it. Got a little bite right here that I cut off. Oh, man. Guys, that's too dang good. Mm. Yeah, guys, you're getting the smoke, okay? People ask me all the time, the smoke flavor with that wood fire grill. Listen, with pork tenderloin like this, baby back ribs that we did, um, chicken, all those things that we're doing in there, the lighter meats, the lighter proteins, are gonna pick up a lot more of that smoke. So you're getting plenty of it on here. Tons and tons of flavor. Trust me on that one, okay? And that barbecue seasoning on there really takes it to the next level. Adds a great color, great flavor, all that good stuff. What barbecue is about, right? So we got some smoked pork tenderloin. Hope you dug it. Tell me if you guys make this, if you're on the Instagrams, the Facebooks, all that good stuff. Uh, tag me if you make it using your wood fire grill. Okay. Speaking of that, if you want to get one of these wood fire grills, you want to do the stuff that we're doing on here, I'll put a link down below. It's the Ninja Kitchen. It's an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you anything more to use. And I actually have a code on there that'll save you 40 bucks on it, okay? So hit show more underneath the video. In the description, there's a link, code, the whole bit, all right? If you guys wanna get any of my merch, knives, cutting boards, all that good stuff, links are all down below too, right underneath that video. If you guys wanna become a show producer like all these lovely people scrolling in front of me right now, pork tenderloin loving people, especially if there's some smoke and barbecue to it, hit that join button right next to that subscribe button. All right. Other than that, we are done. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.